There's no shortage of degenerates that stream on Kick. It's like if Arkham Asylum had their own streaming platform. Like, no, it's not everyone. You can't say that about Kick. And of course, it's not everyone on Kick is a weirdo. Snap back to reality. Get out of the delusion. If you think that Take Kick's so public perception is anything other than entirely negative. Consistently hearing the F slur, and not even just in jest, like as a joke. It was specifically targeted towards people that it was supposed to discriminate against. Even so much as to walk past the socials room, the guys that run the you know Kick streaming and Kick community and hear the n-word just dropped. Hard R. Wait, no, actually, I think the thing that freaks me out the most is these people are probably all in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. And this is behavior that's happening in an office. You know, sometimes you see this kind of shit happen in video games. Kids trying to get a reaction out of people. Grown men with jobs. Okay, so if you haven't seen, you know, recently, there's been a lot of things going on with Kick. Now, Um, an ex-employee, like ex-staff employee, had leaked that they were being racist. They were doing a whole bunch of weird stuff. And they even lowered Jake Future, a disabled or special needs content creator. I don't know how to say it, you know, the PR train way, but um, they lowered his rates to $5 an hour. There's a creator on Kick who got a contract through one of the big streamers. Um, this creator has special needs and we gave him a contract out of good faith and the fact that this bigger streamer was quite a fan of him. So when I asked about this streamer's contract renewal, he um, had a smirk on his face and goes, I decimated his rate. And this was apparently fucking hilarious because everybody else in the room laughed. I said, well, what did you put it down to? And he proceeded to then brag about the fact that he got him on a uh, below market cent rate uh, for an English streamer. So basically they got him on a $365 an hour contract of death like that's crazy bro but you know i think someone tweeted from his account and said he's not on any contract i don't know if that was him or not i don't know bro i, I really don't know i decimated his rate and this was apparently fucking hilarious because everybody else in the room laughed i said well what did you put yo yo Along with that, some like very unknown uh, Kick streamer had leaked that Amaranth was coming back to Twitch or at least leaving Kick. Play that audio clip for you guys right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not trying to find this clip, dog. And really, what it seems like is that Kick is really just going down. Like, there's no advertisers on the platform, so they can't run ads. So the only way to give their content creators money would be third-party donations or literally just paying the content creators to stay there. Yeah, so you basically can tell from the screenshots they launched and. Uh, hourly pay incentive for kick i mean gang uh, they dead ass turn this into a job like literally a job like a nine to five that's kind of crazy like they already have been doing i think i got an ad on instagram the other day it was like a kick creator incentive i'll put that up on the screen if i can find it but uh, i don't know and it literally said get paid to stream it was actually crazy now really what i wanted to talk about is the two different sides of kick it, it, there's the bad side you know what i'm saying the the neon jack doherty zirka heel mike side And then the other side, there's like, you know, Your Rage, XQC, and Aiden Ross, like the good side. You know what I'm saying? Can't forget the bad. Now never, never, never. <laughs> <laughs> oh Yo, God. get my. Get my shit back, gang. I want to rage leave. Okay, yo, 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 Okay, XQC, Your Rage, and Aiden Ross, like, keep a very consistent, you know, fan base on kick, and they're doing good. You know what I'm saying? Hey, kick! What the fuck my prenex said, bitch? Kick, bro, I don't know what, what type of ego y'all got going on right now, but y'all niggas need to remember. You niggas need us. Niggas don't need y'all niggas. I don't know if y'all niggas forgot. I don't know if y'all lost the plot. But y'all niggas got the game f***ed up, boy. What the f***? My predix. You look at the app a year ago when the first drop. You look at the app now. No changes. I ain't gonna care. I don't give a. F I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not talking. If, if the shit is shit, it's shit. We don't have a dialogue. Even though I don't really see why your rage needs to be on kick, he doesn't really. He doesn't really say anything crazy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he's on kick just to rip the hard R every you know now and then because you can't do that on Twitch. And you know I see the incentive to being on kick like oh it's free speech and um you know what I'm saying you won't be censored as much as you know uh, Twitch for example because Twitch you, you know you're not allowed to do a lot of things that you can do on kick even so much to the point where you can stream pirated content on kick like pirated anime it doesn't even matter. It's 
stream whatever you want but on twitch you're very limited to what you can stream you know what i'm saying but what i really wanted to bring up was that if you search up kick streamer right I, I literally searched it up i have it brought up right here the first things like the main things that will pop up are just all bad exposing kicks biggest view botters kick streamers have lost it the endless depravity of kick the worst streamers of all time and it's just bad stuff it's constantly bad kick is poisoning society like what unless it's propaganda by twitch i'm not gonna lie it looks like kick is just a bad platform from what i'm seeing when i search it up on youtube you know what i'm saying search up twitch streamer um pokemon top five tips for small streamers quan response to tiktok hate allegations i don't know how that got up here don't start streaming before this uh this one trick will make you famous streamer you know stuff like that it, it, it's mostly positive stuff you know what i'm saying um and one of the biggest videos i think about a kick streamer is literally exposing this uh kick streamer called riot lol i'm pretty sure it literally was titled to catch a kick predator uh you know what i'm saying it's a very bad look for kick especially like when one of the biggest videos on your platform is literally based about somebody being a predator on your platform you know what i'm saying and in the video they literally say that people in kick staff were helping him do the weird stuff that he was doing you know what i'm saying or at least like egging him on everyone keeps mentioning riot law yeah what is this he trolls I can swear Eddie's here. Yo! Yo! Holy! Oh my god, Eddie, bro! Eddie, bro! Holy No fucking way! Alright, big shout out to the right one. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's so funny. No, no, not sure if I quite love you, man, but I fucking love the enthusiasm. It's legend. I wonder how he would feel about donating to Riot if he knew the situation that happened just a day before. But if we've learned anything from the Ice Poseidon situation that happened a few months ago on Kick, something tells me he wouldn't care. Allegedly, allegedly, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to get hit with a, you know, of doom. Honestly, I can see where people like Aiden Ross and XQC are coming from when they try to promote the platform because they just don't like Twitch. They don't like how Twitch is moderating their platform, so they move to a different platform. And it's just, it, it, it just is what it is. It's not like a, oh dude, like Twitch is fucking up, dude, fuck Twitch. It's it's not like that whatsoever. Um, it was never like that. And on top of that, ever since, ever since the beginning of this idea, it wasn't, it, it's it been a while. It's not like a, it's not like a reactionary, oh, this TOS, I'm moving to kick it. It's not really like that. It was a bit, it was like a bigger project. I think, I think it's a, I think it's a massive deal. Cause at the same time, there's an opportunity other things I want to do also. And that's just kind of, that's kind of how it goes. But Kick has no moderation. There's the difference between heavily moderated like Twitch and no moderation at all like Kick. Like Kick is literally like the Twitter, not even bro. It's like the live leak of the internet. Kick is just terrible. I'm not going to lie. I think I seen someone getting, I'm not even going to bring that up because I, I, I don't even know if it was real, but I'll pull up the Twitter clip if I could see, if I could find it. Like there's really no words for this, bro. Kick streamer suspended, accused of having you know what i'm saying in front of a while live streaming like bro this is just i don't even know now honestly i just want to make this video because the jake future stuff and you know uh, streamers are leaving kick like and kick said they weren't gonna be like mixer like you seen the ninja clip where he was like oh i would have been bigger than kai sanat if i didn't leave to mixer kai's pulling 30k right now because he's sleeping dog every time he wakes up and he actually starts playing Elden ring he's pulling anywhere from 90 to 100k a little more a little less he just puts in the work, bro. He does those. He does what I could have done if I just stayed home and streamed <laughs> and didn't go to Mixer or anything like that. Which is total bull. Shut your ass up. You need to stay where you are, boy. You play Fortnite. Sit down. But you know what I'm saying? I feel like moving to Kit, there's just no reason to move there. I mean, the only reason to move to Kit would just be if you're banned on Twitch or if the stuff you do cannot be broadcasted on Twitch. Like super NSFW stuff, super like extremist views, like people, you know, who just blurt out the hard R, blurt out the F slur every two seconds, and they have no self control over their mouth. You know what I'm saying? People like that belong on Kit. But you know, there's some plus sides to being on Kit. I mean, the only plus side. I would see it being on kick is literally probably just streaming anime. I'm not gonna lie, bro. That's the only thing I could see because the sub split is like 90 to 10, right? So you get 90% of the, the money from subs, but there's no incentive to subscribe on kick and uh, just emotes. That's it. You just get emotes because on Twitch, there's ads. So when you sub, you get to skip all the ads. And when you sub on kick, there's no ads on kick. So you're just subbing just to get some emotes, like some pictures that you put in the chat. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you know, if you think kick will stay around for a little bit longer or you think it's just gonna disappear like a mixer but um but yeah if you guys enjoyed the video um you know watch the, the video that i'm about to show and then uh, also pay promoted song let me get that uh shout out i'm dante I but if you guys enjoyed the video you know what i'm saying watch this video right here and then and, uh, i'll see you guys in the next one peace